in model three. It's a little bit harder for me to sit in my Tesla model three than in this Aptera. And he was six seven. He's like, I love it. Like, I want one right now. So you're six six. You should fit. Um, over here's the beautiful sign we had designed. It starts at twenty five thousand nine hundred, and that's for the two hundred fifty mile range Aptera. We'll work with Open Pilot. Good question. We're working on a lot of different ADAS uh, exploration right now. And uh, more to be released on that pretty soon here in the future. Here's a solar hood. So this is really awesome. It's off of our solar production machinery here. So you can see all the cells in there and the interconnects. Those may or may not be in production. Uh, yeah, the, the cup holders are going to be worked on a bit more. Uh, I like 200. <laughs> This guy awesome. I'm Brandon. Brandon's awesome. Brandon, not Brandon. What are you? You're branded. Oh, it's Oliver and he's branded. <laughs> Thanks for your help, man. Um, yeah, it's, this vehicle's just incredible. We're really stealing the show here today. Hey, Drive the Lightning. How you guys doing? Thank you for all your coverage. Uh, let, me, let me walk around the vehicle a bit more here. Here's Chris Anthony. Chris, we're on Instagram Live, too. Forgive me, how do we do so here's where the knock-knock sensors are. Here's uh, the truck here. What a huge truck. I'll show the charge port. Uh, ADAS features are going to be announced pretty soon here on what supplier we're going with for that. Over here is the charge port right at the back of Gamma. It's really cool. It swivels outward like this. And here's the charge port. It's a Tesla connector back there. And uh, this right here is a, a light. And it's gonna light the charge port, or light the charge port and the license plate. So that's really cool. This is the backup camera as well. I, I believe, Lewis, I believe um, in Canada, there's pretty much no changes required for us to start selling in Canada. I'm pretty positive about that. Uh, but we're working on all that. You can see there's a bumper too on this wheel, on the rear wheel as well there. And here, they can be replaced. Look how cool these lights are. They're really amazing. Uh, just the fit and finish on this Gamma is just incredible. So, Gamma is our final stage of development um, right before we put on them. Um, so, Gamma is right before Delta, right? So, Delta is production intent. It is a production intent vehicle. Um, this is like 90% 90 way, 90 of the way to production intent. So a lot of the stylistic choices and designs here um, are what you're going to see when you get your own Aptera. But uh, the way it works is you're going to get Delta vehicles. You're going to get the production vehicles. Delta is going to be awesome. Gamma is already awesome, and that's the prototype we're showing off today. So Delta, we're going to have finalized in the next few months. We'll share the details with you, hopefully towards the end of this year. And from there, we're going to begin production in mid-2023. Uh, looks like a lot of people are measuring today the height of that rear area and just the height of everything. And so that'll come out. I don't have the specifics off the top of my head. Uh, knock knock is is you know only active if you're right next to your vehicle and you're paired to your smartphone. Uh, it's not gonna you know engage when you're driving or anything like that. It's literally just for when you're right next to your vehicle. It kind of makes the whole side of the vehicle a button. Um, if you don't want to use knock knock, you can also just use an RFID card and scan it against the side of the vehicle, and that will open the door as well. So you have options there. I personally love the knock knock; it's really awesome, especially on the trunk. If you have food, you just like bang it twice, and uh, it opens right up. So we'll show you the vehicle again. It's uh, finally settling down. We've had a crazy few days here. And again, there's the solar dash on the solar hood. Yeah, the trunk latch is uh, pre-production. And uh, the trunk latch is going to be a lot smaller for production. Yeah, the wheel pants are going to be super rigid. Right now, already in this vehicle, like they don't move at all. They're entirely solid, and they're going to work on rugged roads, on everything. Um, these are designed to be a, the strongest part of the vehicle, the wheel pants. And uh, I'm sure you can tell we have a really good engineer working on these wheel pants. Oh, nice. We have three kids. Well, uh, you know, maybe in the future after I can have a variant that's a little bit bigger for you. Uh, the fully the fully Aptera show rename. It's kind of true. It's funny when you walk around, you know, the rest of the booth here. 
Uh, it's, it's pretty empty compared to the entire booth. So this is the whole entire fully charged show. Um, we're so lucky to be here. We're so happy to be here and you know work with the, uh, Robert, Jack, and the rest of the fully charged team. Um, here's the Fisker booth right here. Here's the Aptera booth for context. <laughs> and you can see it's just like always a horde of people around here. Yeah, 25900 for the base. Um, the rear window, if you get the full solar, there's no rear window. So it fully gets blacked out. I think that's what the majority of people are getting. Uh, let's say hi to some Aptera people. Do you guys want to say hi? We're on Instagram. Yeah, if you're here right now, you could have gotten some sunglasses that say Aptera. Check that out. Look at all these Aptera stickers we have. Yeah, all the three colors, too. Thanks, guys. Yeah, the line's finally getting close. Here's Gamma again. Is there production glass in Gamma? I mean, it's, it's real glass. Are we getting any questions? Oh, yeah. Someone asked if it's production glass in Gamma. Oh, uh, it is close to production glass in Gamma, but it's not released from the production supplier yet. So, uh, production design, but not from production tools yet. Is there a third seat option? Uh, we're hoping to have a third seat option in the future as we make more variants of the Aptera. Uh, Aptera that can have more cargo room, more carrying capacity, things that are more utilitarian. And if we can throw a, a third seat in the back, uh, all the better. Awesome. Well, upgrading better battery size if possible. Say, upgrade by 400, upgrade to 1,000 after you yeah, if you buy a 250-mile range up there, and in the future there's a 400-mile range package that looks attractive to you, we'll try to publish all the pricing you can so you can make an educated decision on what you want to upgrade to in the future. cool thing about the up there is you can upgrade the solar panels, you can upgrade the UI computer whenever we have 6G or 10G or whatever's next. You can upgrade the battery pack. We want this vehicle to stay in your family for a lifetime. We want you to pass it down to your grandchildren. So we don't want this to be a five-year vehicle and then you throw it away. We want this to be a generational vehicle. Awesome. Uh, someone said, when will Carta launch for investors? I think they're just thinking of the general investor round. Of oh, yeah. As we get new investors through invest.aptera.us, we add them to Carta. Then you have a login. You can see what your equity is doing. Should we do an IPO in the future, you'll be able to have Carta as your transfer agent, transfer it to TD Ameritrade or Schwab or whatever you brokerage with, and then you can trade it on the open market along with Tesla and all your other fun EV stocks. Awesome. So when is the delivery date for mass production? Yeah. What are we thinking? Uh, we're hoping to have a production intent designed by the end of the year, and we're hoping to have production equipment into 2023 and scale as we get into 2023. It's just next year. It's already September, so it's go time. It's go time. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, guys. Bye, Chris. <laughs> awesome. Um, solar energy, we're testing the solar energy right now. We're using the base solar package, but we're also using a bunch of pre-production parts on Gamma, so it's a lot less efficient than Delta's going to be. So we've been testing, you know, the, the range with our solar test mule um, that we're going to be able to get out of the battery versus what we're expecting to get in the production vehicle. We actually just got a LAFE hub motors from Slovenia that are the production LAFE hub motors for us. They're a lot more efficient. Um, they're a little bit lighter weight, so it's really cool. Uh, Alapa is a great partner. They were here yesterday showing off uh, that that uh, motor for the first time. So. Mm. Any details on stress test for the skin cooling? The exterior color is still a vinyl wrap. Yep. It's going to be called a, a, a vinyl film. Um, it's going to be really durable. We're testing that extensively to make sure that the exterior of the vehicle holds up to you know all normal things like that. Um, skin cooling. We'll, we'll clear this up right now. Skin cooling is awesome for high speeds, not awesome for low speeds. So skin cooling is incredible at high speeds. You don't need a radiator at low speeds. We actually do suck air in from the outside of the vehicle through holes like this. And we have a low speed uh, radiator specifically for this so that the, you know, the vehicle can't overheat when it's parked or anything. And it's going to vent right out here to use our vents for, for the secondary radiator. Uh, how does that turn deal with side winds? It's really cool because it's aerodynamic not only from the front but also from the sides. So if you see the side of Aptera, it has a nice swooping design. And because of that, uh, when you hit, get a side wind or any you know side turbulence, you basically don't feel it. And I've driven this vehicle very fast. A bunch of Alphas really fast and you know, through wind and all that. You do not feel it. It's pretty neat. Um, crash testing begins once we have Delta, and we have a bunch of Deltas to crash test. 
we are not going to crash test before we have the production of temp vehicle design because things are always consistently changing on the vehicle. But that's going to be next year. It's like a dolphin. It absolutely is. And look at the trunk space. It is just amazing how much trunk space up there has. Will it fit in your garage? Uh, it's 88 inches wide, so just check if your garage is 88 inches wide or more, then it'll fit. Um, that being said, you don't want to park it outside. You can get up to 40 miles a day of solar range just for parking outside. So I know me personally, I have covered parking right now. I'm going to try to move that to the uncovered parking so I can get free stuff. Um, yeah, we're not crash testing Gamma because we need to keep Gamma looking beautiful. Uh, yeah, this is the, the new suspension um, beta team, or the suspension team has been working really hard on the suspension. As you see, really beautiful, really clean. The wires are hidden away. Um, this suspension is really amazing. It's better than my Civic, in my opinion. Hey, so what's that camera for? Like, is it recording us? Oh, yeah, it's just for social media, yeah. I have the camera in the car recording us? No, 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 yeah, 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 that camera. Nice. Yeah. Who's, uh, who's controlling that camera? I just have it recording. Oh, so that's your camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, will your, have, will your smartphone come in the app be feature risk and responsive as Tesla's? That's the goal. The nice thing with, you know, with software is you can always improve it over time. So at launch, yeah, it's going to be a really nice digital key. When you're close to the vehicle, the knock-knock is going to work because you're paired with your phone. Whoa, there's someone dancing over here. It's getting crazy out here. <laughs> it's getting wild at the Aptera booth. We're still come to Europe. Yeah, we're going to ship Aptera worldwide. Uh, we're going to begin by delivering local close to home in San Diego and then in California. Spanning throughout the rest of the U.S., then the rest of the world, including Europe. How easy is it to change the back tire? It's slightly harder than the front tires. There's a jack point. Once you remove that rear fin, so it'll take about five minutes to really get good access to that rear tire. From there, normal jack point, easy to replace. The front tires really only take less than two minutes to reveal, remove those wheel pants, and you're back to, uh, you know, back to um, just like a normal vehicle. Yes. Hi, Instagram Live. Hi, everybody. Up here is the most. Sorry, I'm part of the the most amazing uh, manufacturer here, in my, in my opinion. Thank you it's, so much. it's been so crowded. Uh, it's been amazing. Right now, I'm live streaming right here. Well, really? Yeah, I'm live on YouTube. So you want to be live on... Hi, Instagram. You want to be live on my YouTube? Hi, everybody. Now you're live on YouTube. Check that out. <laughs> Hold on. Hello, Hillary. What's your name? I'm Chris, yeah. Chris, thank you so much for being an ambassador. Oh, I'm an employee, yeah. You're an employee, sorry, an employee. Oh, and the white shirts are here. That's right, yeah. I work on the content team, social media, and the ADAS. High five. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we'll talk you. later. Um, spare tires. Uh, now, most vehicles today don't have spare tires, so we'll probably have a fix-a-flat kit with the Aptera in the trunk, uh, but, you know, most people are probably just going to call AAA. Um, currently, Aptera is just remaining close to home. Throughout 2023, when we have a bunch of Delta vehicles, we're going to bring them all over the place. So you're going to start to see us popping up all over the world, you know, the U.S. during a road trip, stuff like that. It's going to be great for people to see this for the first time. How much of driving assist will be shipped? That's going to be over the air upgradable. At the moment, the plan is to have like an ADAS ready vehicle, meaning that we can ship hardware later that makes the vehicles uh, ready for level two autonomy. And uh, yeah, I'm working on that plan. It's going to be awesome, so don't you worry about that. And uh, more details to come in the future. Come to Michigan, I know, right? Travel landing. So great to meet you guys. Aptera is hiring a bunch of positions. Currently none for the marketing team, but uh, stay tuned on the site. We're going to have a lot more job posting soon. Um, where do you take Aptera if there's a mechanical issue? Uh, so we're a race repair company. If you have any issues, uh, it'll show on the display what the problem is. There's QR codes on all the parts so you can you know, see where to buy the part and replace it. And uh, yeah, from there you just uh, you know order the part and replace it yourself or bring it to a local auto repair shop. Um, Aptera specifically has not yet been tested on icy roads, but the Alapre Hub motors have been tested extensively in all kinds of conditions. And uh, we're going to be testing once you have our Delta vehicle and all these different conditions. That being said, it's going to perform really well. We have a lot of simulation. Um, yeah, can it sail and drive to you? Not yet. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a le uh, no leasing option at this time. Um, after I would love to bring energy back to the grid. I don't believe the launch vehicle is going to have that capability, but something we have planned that we would really love to do, especially once you have that 100 kilowatt hour after. Imagine how awesome that would be to bring that back to the grid. Um, 
We currently are not qualified for the federal tax credit. They removed the three-wheel uh, vehicle portion of the tax credit, but we're working hard every day to fix that. The lobbyists and uh, we may even ask for your help soon, so stay tuned for that. We do not accept Doge at this time. I wish you did. That'd be funny. You're six six. Uh, you should fit definitely. We had someone six seven fit today very comfortably. They said it was better than their Tesla Model Three in terms of comfort. So super awesome. I'm glad that people really love going into Gamma and think it's awesome. Uh, my favorite feature. I just love the knock knock. I think it's amazing because I know you usually have to pull a handle or something. This can be totally hands free, and you can just knock the side of the vehicle twice. Really easy to open. Um, yep, yeah, there's going to be an app. We're not going to adapt it to be four wheels. Uh, if we do do a four wheel vehicle late in the future, that'd be you know years from now, maybe totally redesigned to be the most aerodynamic four wheel vehicle possible. Car seat. Uh, third seat is in the plans for the future. Uh, if you look through here, there's definitely room for a third seat for like a child or something between these two main seats, kind of out back. Um, will the knock knock work every time? Oh yeah, we're testing that thing extensively. It's going to be great. Uh, let's see, how fast does it feel? It feels ridiculously fast. Even the two-wheel vehicle, the, the Alpha vehicles I've been driving, they feel dope, stupid fast. I think most of it's because it's so low to the ground. Um, so because you're so low to the ground, you really feel part of the road. Uh, after it starts at 25900 check our site for more details. Uh, Gamma is currently painted. Uh, it's going to be wrapped in the next few weeks. We just ran out of time before the show. But uh, it's going to be a really ultra-durable film on our vehicle. It saves the environment. Paint is terrible for the environment. And uh, also it saves a bunch of costs and manufacturing complexity. Um, yeah, not, yeah, Mexico is definitely in the cards too, probably in 2024. Uh, key fob, you're either going to use your phone and you're going to just come up to the door and knock, knock twice on the side. And that's going to work. Or um, you can use a key card. But no, no physical key other than the key card. Can we compete against a $20,000 four-wheel competitor? Absolutely, I've chosen a class of its own. That being said, the standard EV, like even if you wanted like a cheap Model 3, it's like, you know, 40, 50,000. So I've chosen a really nice sweet spot. Um, but yeah, solar power, 40 miles a day from the sun. That's the really amazing part. Yeah, so we had our wheel pants engineer here earlier, and if snow ever gets caught in the wheel pan, it kind of does what it does in other vehicles that have covered wheels where uh, it just kind of, the snow cakes around the wheel and it doesn't cause any interference, so the wheel can still free flow. So there's no worries there. We're designing this to be ultra strong for snow and ice, so it's not like the wheel pan will crack or anything like that with those, those things in there, but it'll, it'll do just fine. Uh, yeah, I can show you the, uh, there's no frock actually. This is a front crumple zone. It has uh, the suspension components and uh, also, you know, HVAC and stuff like that. It's all in here. Look how shiny it is. Awesome, thank you guys. It's a dual climate control. Yeah, there's going to be vents uh, to change around the vehicle. I think it's such a small vehicle that it probably is going to have one set speed. Um, not set speed, set temperature for the entire uh, vehicle. I mean, it's really only a two-seater. I doubt we'd have a dual one, but could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I've turned merchandise is online. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, favorite color? My favorite color is Luna, honestly. I think Luna is the most popular choice. Silver is really stunning. Here's the trunk again. And here's, uh, here's the charge port again. I already showing the back, so that's good. No, keep one effect screen function. It's going to be automotive grade, so not going to be any issues there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have dual temperature control. I think it's just going to be one temperature, but you can adjust uh, what fans are, go where on either side of the, the, the screen there. The Soul is uh, the white one, and then Noir is the black one. Can it fly? I ordered silver. Awesome. Thank you guys for ordering. Uh, if you use coupon code fully charged right now, you can get pre order for $30 off instead of $100. You can get it for $70. Uh, it'll charge stupid fast. We are not going to be publishing those exact rates until we have our Delta design, but stay tuned. We're going to publish the exact rates of how fast this vehicle charges, but, uh, you know, it's four times more efficient than any other EV, so it's going to charge really fast. 
Yeah, in, in production there's going to be like a kind of a net to, to stop stuff from slipping forward, or a lip, something like that. I believe it's going to be like a net that you can choose to attach out back there. Yeah, tie-down options, exactly. There's going to be tie-down options. The seats are really comfortable. Yep, there's still a rear view screen, so if you look in there, there's not only those side, um, those side screen right above the yoke, but also there's a, a rear screen here. See that right there. It, it does have a long wait list. We're already at over 30,000 orders, so get in today. Uh, currently, we have the vehicle off. Otherwise, I'd show you the knock knock. Uh, we only let people sit in after 2 p.m. Um, just because we want people to be able to get shots of the interior without people in it in the early morning. But then people can sit in it after that. No, it takes normal tires. You can get them in any normal tire shop. Um, will there be a camp mode? I don't see why not. All software stuff's definitely going to come later, but of course we have a camping kit. We have an uh, amazing vehicle, so no reason we wouldn't have uh, a camping mode. Is there a glove box? Uh, there's probably going to be like a document holder, but not necessarily a traditional glove box. In that area, we need to have the uh, airbag and other things, so. Uh, yeah, top speed is 110 miles an hour. Zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. We are going to turn everyone into environmental hulks. It's so cool because with Yamaha and with Aptera in general, you don't really sacrifice anything, but yet you have an awesome vehicle. So you're saving the environment, um, but yet you're still uh, you know, driving in style really fast with a sports car. It's just incredible. So here's Gamma. Does the rear trunk floor lift up? Um, nope. So a lot of this is stationary in production. There's going to be cubby holes right here behind the seat that have a kind of a area where you can slide stuff and cover it. So you can put a purse back there and keep it hidden. And that being said, a lot of people are getting full solar, and that blacks out the back as well. Promo code is fully charged. I'll go over to the side so you can check it out. Fully charged. So don't worry about the coupon or the, the QR code. Uh, just use code fully charged. Is there an efficiency penalty? I'm talking to a lot there. That efficiency penalty is going to be less than 5%. So basically neg negligible to use all wheel drive versus two wheel drive. Um, major changes? Not really. No major changes. Just the difference is uh, production intent functionality is this. With production in 10 parts is uh, is Delta. So the Delta is going to have parts from the real supply chain. Smartphone charging? Yes, there's going to be wireless charging. If you look in the interior, uh, there's like a pouch for your phone that's going to wirelessly charge it. There's ultrasonic sensors for parking. Yeah, we're, 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 we think all battery combos should go 0 to 60 and 3 and a half with all wheel drive. Yep. It is. It's so sexy. Yep, very safe. We have a front couples down here. We have passenger airbags and driver airbags. Um, passenger airbags right over here. See you right there. Passenger one is uh, in the yoke. And, uh, yeah, this has the highest roof, roof cut strength of any passenger car back uh, when it was tested with the previous iteration. Now we have a new design. Probably going to perform even better, so awesome. Um, yep, it'll have... Well... <laughs> Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is support that can come in the future with a software update. It will not be there for launch. But good question. We're going to have Bluetooth, of course. Oh, yeah, they'll definitely be seen and used in movies. How could you not? Um, Bluetooth is even on a Family Guy episode once. After. Now, this one's all-wheel drive. Yep, you have front-wheel drive or three wheels is all-wheel drive. Um... Feel free to apply on our website if you have any inkling on joining us, and uh, we'll, we'll always get back to you. So, uh, just, yeah, just apply and see what happens. Yeah, Tesla charging port in this one. Wipers are right here under the lip. Look at that. It's a single wiper, but it covers a good area of the windshield. Um, I guess you could remove the OEM steering wheel. You wouldn't want to, because... Uh, Really, it's, it's awesome to see the vision system behind that wheel. Hi, let me show you. It's a Grubhub. Let me show you the... All right. Uh, one sec. All right. 
So it's a total of three things. That's two of them. Yeah, a total of three. Thank you. I don't think we'll have HTML input for the screen. I think there's some laws against doing that. Um, yeah, the, the enhanced audio pack will come with a subwoofer. It's kind of going to be out in the trunk. Uh, we don't have more specifics on it at this time. See if Amber is an audio file. He's definitely going to make sure it's awesome. Um, yeah, total, so they don't stick out at all. Um, and these cells, yeah, withstand uh, 90 mile an hour hail tests, vibration testing, uh, they're really automotive green. There's no heads up display because that's actually solar as well in the dash. You look at it. We're not going to open the trunk on this vehicle. In Delta, we could totally do that and show you everything, but right now it's not that uh, final design. The yoke telescope, uh, the yoke will at least go up and down. I'm not entirely sure if it telescopes it may, uh, but the yoke uh, has some steering adjustment there. <laughs> the H demographic is all over the place. It is everybody. It's, you know, everyone loves Aptera, so it's amazing. Uh, so there's not really one key demographic we're targeting at all. Uh, we've been testing out yeah, the AC through the center screen vents. It's really good. Uh, it's definitely enough to, to fill this space, and with the AC controller, the AC uh, module we use, it's going to be plenty of force. Of course, you, you can invest in the company again. If you go to invest.aptera.us, you can invest for $1,000 minimum. We go right here. So invest.aptera.us, it's only $1,000 minimum. Why, why still inside the glass? Should be low. Um, solar is here. It'll be here if you get full solar. It's here and it's on the hatch. So it's literally everywhere that makes sense to put it. Well, the aerial motor slash parts ever what? Rust. Um, a lot is designed everything about this motor to last a lifetime. So you wouldn't have to worry at all. The worst thing you'd have to do is replace um, like a bushing or something. But uh, even those are lasted. Like, when's the last time you replaced a bushing or anything in, in your existing vehicle? Uh, life expectancy of the panels is 20 years at least of life on the solar panels. Uh, starts at 25,900. Thank you guys so much for coming. This thing is, is going to be really awesome. Really change the future, I think. Yeah, right? These new pants are so solid. I'm so impressed with the gamma build quality. Uh, batteries are going to last a very long time. So the batteries, uh, it's similar yeah, to like a dip Tesla, you know? So if you use it for multiple years, um, you know, you get what, like a 5% degradation over 10 years or something. So if you had a 1,000 mile range in like 10 years, well, maybe it's like a 900 mile range. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, we're testing it all with weather conditions, so it'll do great in the cold. The main screen does not move. It's a, it's a fix, but it's above uh, where you could hit it with your feet or anything. It's in a really nice spot. It's slightly off-center. It's a little bit more towards the passenger. Um, but it's in a really good spot. Yeah, if you want... Definitely drive in snow. With it. Does it work at night? It works all the time. Uh, the solar gives you 40 miles a day of additional, or of, uh, it's like a trickle charger. So think of plugging in your vehicle every night. Solar does that every day. gives you 40 miles every single day. So leave it out in the sun for two days, you'll get 80 miles of range back in the pack. Um, so all the way up until you hit you know, full charge on your battery pack. Uh, the ingress and egress of these wheel pants is actually really good. It's hard to tell, but um, any, we've tested this over a bunch of... Uh, different potholes and everything, and you do not scrape these guys. Unless you're going crazy off-road, in that case, get the off-road package, or just pop off the wheel pants if you're going somewhere off-roading. Oh yeah, I can definitely fit you. Someone six seven fit in here, no problem earlier today. He said it's more comfortable than his Model 3. Uh, starts at 25,900. We're going to do crash testing uh, next year once we have our Delta vehicle, but we've been running a ton of simulations in the meantime. It's going to perform very well. We're really happy with it. 110 mile an hour top speed. Um, solar, full solar is nine hundred dollars extra. Um, so just think, take the package that you're, you know, the range option you're ordering at nine hundred to, and that's how you get the full solar. 
Uh, so the, the seat, good question on the seat, someone said they're 5'1". Uh, the seat is not really height adjustable, but it is in a way, because the seat is on a rail that's slanted. So when you move it forward, uh, it actually is, is higher. Awesome, we're going to get an example. Uh, we go, there we go. So see how it, it's now raised up a bit. You want to put it back down? Perfect. So yeah, if you're 5'1", you scoot it forward, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. Um, when the door opens, you say, who's there? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, financing options we're going to be announcing uh, next year. The cool thing with knock dogs, you can do cool stuff like... And then, like, all the doors open. That's something we've been experimenting with. Just cute little stuff like that. Yeah. Love some Easter eggs. Uh, no option for air-conditioned seats at the time. Maybe in the future. And yeah, the seat folds down as well, so if you want extra trunk space, go all the way forward, the seat can fold pretty much almost all the way to that uh, airbag there, so you get a ton of room. <laughs> Thanks, Seals made so made graffiti films. Yep, that's correct. These are going to be releasing in 2023. Yeah, we're going to be rolling off the production line in 2023. Two seats. They're not heated seats. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's all about efficiency, so it's a really small uh, cabin area, so it'll heat and cool pretty fast. We'll have a light show. Um, definitely everything's possible with over-there updates, and we will have over-there updates, so I would love to have some light shows when it becomes uh, Christmas time or anything like that. Right at the back of the trunk. I don't have it off the top of my head. Here's like my arm and I've got plenty of, of space, so it's at least as long as one thing of my arm. <laughs> it's pretty much, uh, if I were to guess, I'd say at least three feet. <laughs> That's sure how many miles per charge. Uh, solar doesn't change anything in terms of the battery pack, so if you get a 400 mile battery, it's going to go 400 miles with or without solar. Solar is just a triple charger. Uh, no heated seats at this time. Plenty of camping room, absolutely. You can totally camp in the back. Solar charges while driving, while parked, while doing anything. Yep. Uh, Chris wants to add a, a plug in the back to add more solar. We're going to release those specifications during Delta. Um, we're going to have that option to automatically uh, you know, cool the interior on hot days. Definitely going to be an option in the future software update. Oh yeah, we should definitely do some software voting thing after we launch. Definitely, that's a great idea. No Apple CarPlay for launch, but again, it's all software. We want the, the hardware to be good, and then all the software can change. It's going to be an awesome first car, man. So our console covers work. Um, that's all pre-production still. But uh, it's not going to be a zipper, it's just going to lift up like a normal center console, I believe. That's, uh, that's going to be announced in Delta. Yep, the plan is to have fast charging at level 3. Oh, it's going to be awesome in Arizona, man. We got so much sun. We're considering some sunroof options, yes. Um, after launch, definitely. We're just, we're holding it consistent by like 150. Not bad. Someone said it'd be their first car. Is it going to be your first car? Maybe. Right? Anti-theft system, that will all come in over there, software update. We have cameras all around the vehicle already, so it shouldn't be too hard for us. Cool. You did a great job. How's it, how's it going? Spinning out a little bit? Release for now is my watching. That comes a couple years after the 400. You got it, man. So the 400 comes first. Yeah. If you want your car as soon as possible, 400 by operation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And if you order today, you're looking at... Late 24 or late 24 to late 25? Yeah, it depends where you live. If you're in California, it could be sooner. If you're not, it could be later for sure. So, I'm driving. Yep, we're going to have some ADAS functionality. Uh, all going to be announced in the next few months, probably. Can you fit a 9 foot foot surfboard? Yes, uh, you have 7 feet in the trunk, and then you have at least an extra 2 feet if you're willing to stick it up over the center console. Android Auto and probably Android. Apple. Yeah, later, later. That will come later in an over-the-air software. Yeah. Can't hear you. Turn up your volume. Will there be security camera system like Tesla? I don't know. In the future. In the future. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Okay. Yeah, we're prepped to have to fly, see how it goes. Um, Isn't it careers.up.us? Uh, yeah, I think it's like up.us slash careers, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Can it be flipped? 
Okay, the head will be rearranged with that. It's not going to flip. This thing is not going to flip. It has such a wide stance, and the battery's low, low center gravity, it's not going to flip. And it's really light. It's really light. Well, flip. that would make it flip. Don't worry, it's not going to flip. Yeah. <laughs> Will it be an option for weather mats? I mean, we're gonna we're kind of gonna do a third party thing where you know we give anyone the, the CAD for the spark parts. So if we have like a third party, do you want to say bye? Great to see you, man. Turtles. All right, sweet. So we have a third party uh, you know, policy where basically if like someone wants to make weather mats or someone who makes weather mats wants to make them for the after, we we'll give them the CAD so they can make it happen. Yeah. Have you ever got a paper for a cut on your eyeball? No, I haven't. That'd be wild. Sorry if that happened to you. Dog mode to keep the cabin cool. Oh yeah, that'd be great. We'll definitely think of adding that in the future. Um, yeah, if you get the safety pilot, you'll get some automatic cruise control. Yep. Yeah. I gotta drink some water. We'll keep going. What's the length? Uh, we have it on our blog. Cool, you wanna say hi? To What's up everybody? Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Tell our brand ambassador program why I drink water. Absolutely. Our brand ambassador program is awesome hello all brand ambassadors if you're joining us um, we support you guys we love you guys we've got over 700 brand ambassadors now all over the globe they play a huge role in our marketing efforts like frontline sales doing everything from talking about our mission and our vision to our vehicle and uh, spreading the word about Aptera. So our ambassador program is awesome. Email ambassador at aptera.us if you're interested in uh, learning more or joining it. Thanks, guys. Yo. See you, man. All right, we're back. I'm kind of trying to clean this. Is that better? Uh, if you want to apply, go to the Contact Us page. There's a place to apply to be an ambassador. Is it street legal? We're going to make sure it's street legal and everywhere we sell it. So in Europe, once we go to Europe, we'll make sure it's all street legal for that. Here's the vehicle. Here's Gamma. It's just beautiful. Yeah, we'd love to have you be an ambassador. Definitely, uh, you know, fill out that form and sign up. It's going to handle great in the snow. We're going to do snow testing on Deltas, but in the meantime, look up the Lafay Hub Motors YouTube channel and see how the test vehicles handle in the snow. It's just amazing. Make a left turn on Northeast Vancouver Plaza Drive. Head southeast toward northeast Vancouver Plaza Drive. Head southeast toward northeast Vancouver Plaza Drive. 